going harder, Horace. Got a boy. Thank you. All right, now, class, can anybody tell me where water comes from? Eloise. The pump? No, I mean, I mean, where does it originate? Where does it start from? And do you remember last week when we were talking about the underground springs? Were you guys listening? Yeah. See, that's that's where Curtis Wells got his name. You see? That's why, that's why there's a town here at all. It seems our new school teacher's made quite an impression. <laughs> yeah, I wish he'd keep me after class for being a naughty girl. Oh, what? <laughs> I can discuss this. You got five seconds to find Quinn. Or well, this boy eats a bullet. No! You let him go. One, two, three! That's mighty fair. Stay away from me. Five seconds, why not ten or twenty? I swear! Stop, right there. Let the boy go. Stay away from me. No. Stay down. It's over, mister. No, it's over. boy. No, I couldn't have. Or I wouldn't have tried. Didn't seem to be much choice. He was pretty shot up when he rode in here. I wonder what I've been up to. Well, he ain't about to tell us now. That was a close one, huh? Too close. Well, my, my. I swear you look prettier every time I see you. James Quinn? <laughs> my lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, Maddie. 
spilt my name. It's real good, huh, Bob? Oh, oh, look here, Mr. Andrews. I wrote my own name, just like you showed me. Well, that's well done, huh, Bob? That a boy. So, what brings you here, Mr. Andrews? Well, ain't exactly guns I can look at. Anyone ever mention this uh, unusual occupation for a woman? Well, I could say the same thing about a man being a teacher. I don't know why Mr. Mosby hired you. <laughs> The well, word is, uh, word is you've been seen skulking, skulking about with a new fella in town. Is that so? Mm hmm. It's downright scandalous. Hey, I thought you were gonna be discreet. I am. I just, you know, sometimes I just, I can't control myself. I'm gonna be uh, over having coffee at the dub later on around four. If you'd uh, care to have him by. Well, I might be thirsty by then. Hold still. You're gonna make me miss a stitch. Well, easy, pumpkin. You're not darn in a sock, you know. Ah, I'll tell you, lucky for me, I heard you run this place. Knew I had a spot to lay low. Well, not really. Things are kind of different now. Ah, oh, come on, you taught me everything I know. You remember when the Moon and me was doing that bundle dodge in that fancy hotel? And Frank and you were running a fortune telling car in the same place. You about ready to tell me why somebody cut you up like a cake at a Mormon wedding? Yeah. That fellow they shot this morning, him and me were running a switch on a mining outfit up in the Sweetgrass Hills. And we made off with the money, but they figured out the con. <clears throat> so why was your partner gunning for you? Well, let's just say we had a little dispute. He cut me up pretty bad before I put a bullet or two in him. So now he's dead, and you have all the money. Funny how that worked out. Life is full of surprises, ain't it? The problem is... The miners hired half a dozen regulators to chase us down. And real professionals. Jim, how much money did you steal off those boys? Around 20,000. Notes and gold coin. Haven't had a chance to count yet. <laughs> no wonder they're gunning for your head. Where'd you stash it? Your cellar. Gentlemen. And, uh... According to the wire from Butte, the man's name is Leroy Parker, a con artist. Him and his partner pulled off a robbery a few days back. This town's a magnet for scoundrels and rogues. No, he just didn't happen to light here. He came here looking for his partner. Partner? That Quinn filler he was hollering about. Now the miners are offering a reward for returning money. You find a partner, you find the money. What kind of reward? Thousand dollars. That's so often. Don't get any ideas, Call. That reward money's mine. Ain't yours. Not until you collect it. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for women getting a proper education, but Mary Ann's letting her work slide over here. Well, she is a grown woman, Miss Carpenter. And neither you nor I can tell Mary Ann what to do with her private time. Perhaps you could be a little less demanding so she gets to work on time in the morning. Mind if I join you? Come on. Mr. Andrews and I were just discussing the uh, performance of one of his students. Oh, is that so? Devoted pupil. Teacher's pet, I suspect. Amanda, that uh, coffee looks awfully good. <laughs> Why don't I get you a cup? The woman owns the place. I can't very well tell her to go jump in a lake. Amanda'd like to jump in a lake with you. What did that just say? Lynn Johnson? Never. How you doing? 
This morning's situation got kind of critical. No, I'm, I'm fine. Just a boy I'm worried about. I'm sure he'll be having nightmares for some time to come. Well, it's a hard country. You gotta learn your lessons early. Why? Why, Shetty? Why is it that we live in a world where seeing a man's brains blown out in the middle of the street is just no cause for alarm? It's not like I shot the fella. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just a little wound up, that's all. <clears throat> Voila. Uh, excuse me, ladies. I must be going. Good evening, Michelle. True gentleman. Hmm. It's rare in these parts. Ain't that the truth? You know, I suspect he's having a liaison. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Man, his position has to be careful, you know? Can't get caught philandering about. What would the children think? <laughs> I need this job, and the rules of the school, school teacher, teacher must just... remain unattached. Yeah. Work something out, all right? I promise. Good night. All right. So leave the mule. Take my horse. That way they won't spot you right off. Right kind of you to help me out, Amanda. I'm going to stick my neck out for you. It's going to cost you. And I'm not talking small change. Well, that sounds like old times to me. <laughs> there she is. That's what a dream looks like. <laughs> I barely slept last night knowing this was under my roof. Jim, how do you mean to lug this big thing around on the run? In your condition? Well, I don't have much choice now, do I? Well, you could, uh, could always leave it here. I mean, it's not like anyone's gonna come looking for it. You're gonna look after all that gold for me out of the goodness of your heart? No. for a piece of the pie. I may be an old friend, Jim, but even friends have to be practical. Those regulators are gonna be out looking for a man carrying a big old box. You'll be on a horse, holding no evidence. What could be better? Well, I could move a lot faster, that's for certain. Hold up in the mountains till things cool down. Well, there's your plan. Well, lucky for me, I made it to your door. Lucky for both of us. And by the way, uh, thanks for the loan of the duds. Frank's. Well, whatever happened to old Frank, anyhow? I, uh, had to shoot him. Was that so? Well, I suppose he had it coming. Oh. Be. You watch out for that one. Him? <laughs> no, no, that's our new school teacher. School teacher? Hell, I did time with him up at Clarkwell Prison. He was doing a long stretch for uh, armed robbery. That's one of the meanest customers you're ever going to meet. Well, now, isn't that something? Be back in the spell, pumpkin. You'd be good now, you hear? Never anything but.
Mr. Andrews wanted me to come in today and explain to you how a gun works. What I have here is a Colt Peacemaker. A gun is fired when the firing pin strikes the cartridge, and rifling causes the bullet to spin, which provides stability in flight. The horse. My pa keeps firing his, because he likes to keep the hammer on an empty chamber so he don't blow his toes off. <laughs> Your father is a wise man. Now, you've all seen what a gun can do. Yeah. Right, this, is, this is no play thing. Pistols are basically made to kill people. Isn't that right? Well, most men in these parts pack a pistol for self-defense in case there's trouble, like the other day. Yeah, but guns and trouble always go hand in hand. A boy's life was saved. At the expense of, of someone else's life. <sighs> Taking a man's life is some obscenity. You never get over it. There's nothing heroic about watching a man lying dead in the street. All right? There's nothing heroic about guns. I want to thank you all for having me in today. Maddie. You just all go on with your letters, all right? I'll be right back. Maddie. Maddie. What's wrong? You made me look foolish just to make your point. After what those children saw in the street the other day, they need to understand there are options to pull on a trigger. Maddie, I, I've seen, I've seen things. Men filled with hate. I know. I wish I had your innocence. Sheriff. Miss Amanda. May I have a word? Miss Amanda. Afternoon. I'll take that. There's been a lot of idle talk around town about that man that call shot in the street the other day. Leroy Parker. What about him? Is it true that he was involved in some kind of a robbery? Mining shipment from Sweetgrass. They're still looking for the gold. I'll bet it includes that Quinn. Oh, Sheriff. He's not gonna let it go either. I hear he's a horrible man. Oh, well. Don't you worry yourself. He won't get far. Well, now, that's my fear. What if he's nearby? What if he's hiding here? Does anyone have any notion where this Quinn has gone? You know, there's an army of miners out there looking for him. If he so much as pops his head up, they'll get him. Well, I do hope so. I know I would feel so much more secure. Well, if they don't do the honors, I will. I'll take him down personally. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a little scaredy cat. No, no, no. You're right to be concerned. Parker and Quinn, they killed four guards to steal that gold. They tied him up, shot him in the back of the head in cold blood. Mr. Andrews. Amanda. Mind if I uh, join you? No. It's always a pleasure. Met an old friend of yours the other day. That's so. What was his name? Well, I don't rightly recollect, but he said he heard of you at uh, Clarkwell. Your friend is mistaken. You understand? That's a pity, because I have a notion that might prove more profitable than school teaching. Well, I'm afraid that my schedule doesn't allow much time for anything else. How's this, Mr. Andrews? It's excellent, honey. Thanks. That's the idea. Now remember, with the letter Q, a little tail on it, like a gopher. You cues tricky little devils. They are. Horse, I told you, no schooling. We have work to be done. Mr. Knox, please, we can discuss this after class. Ah. Everybody 
to stay put. Knox, hold on! Wait! You kids, you stay here like Mr. Andrews said, okay? Knox, the boy wants an education! That boy was up at five in the morning to walk all the way to town. Look, the least you could do! He don't need you putting ideas into his head. You got that? Or do you need another lesson? The boy has got a brain in his head. He wants to use it. What is wrong with that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry. I don't much like pulling out weeds myself. Uh, the challenge is what makes it fun. What's a rose without thorns? It's a lot like love, don't you think? Well, I'll take your word for it. It's all right, Manny. I won't tell anybody your secret. Excuse me? You and, uh, Mr. Andrews? <laughs> Every time the two of you bump into each other, I gotta smile. Is that obvious? <laughs> well, the coincidences are beginning to mount. Amanda, would you just tell me what's on your mind? Well, darling, um, how well do you know our Mr. Andrews? I mean, I mean, really know him. That's pretty personal. No, I don't mean to pry. It's just that, well, I suspect that I may have known a few more men than you in my time. <laughs> <laughs> they're just not always what they appear to be. Well, Tom's a genuine article. You can be certain of that. Good. Just, just watch your step with him, that's all I'm saying. Well, I appreciate your concern. I know. <laughs> and that's why we're doing it. Well, I have never in my life. Oh, you never had a bubble bath before? Mm-mm. God, you... You are a wonder. Now, why is that? Strong. Yet womanly. Tough and gentle, sweet and hard as <laughs> rock candy. Now, you wouldn't have this if you had whooped him. Well, it's a matter of principle. Oh, mm -hmm. and so is this. Sneaking into a bathhouse. Conducting yourself in a lewd manner. <laughs> what would the children think? <laughs> Some things are worth the risk. God, help me. Oh, God. Help me. Tom? I can't get out. Wake up. No. Wake up! No! 
Are you all right? You were having this terrible dream, like you kept saying you were trying to escape from something. I hope you weren't trying to escape from me. Not ever from you. I just I keep um I keep having this crazy dream. It's, um, they lock me up and they put me in a hole, and it's, uh, there's no, no sounds. Just nothing but darkness. It's a strange dream for a school teacher. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I guess it is. I might try to concentrate on you. <laughs> and what do you see? Blue eyes. The most beautiful face I've ever seen. <laughs> I just wish we could stay here all day. So do I. But you know as well as I do that... Better get a move on. Why? Well, for one thing, you're um, you're a respectable woman. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to protect you. What from? You know, from people who weren't as open-minded as as we are. Really? Well, I can take care of myself. What are you doing? I'm being a respectable woman. Maddie, like it or not, I gotta pay attention to public opinion. My job's very important to me. Yeah. I guess I thought I was too. Well, look what we have here. You know, I don't know if it's important, but you, uh, you missed that top button. Or maybe it's a brand new style. <laughs> Mind your own business. Look, whatever, whatever you're after, whoever you think I am, you're wrong. Am I? How about we go for a walk? We can clear this whole thing up. Go see Sheriff Peel and get him to make certain inquiries. You'd do that, wouldn't you? Couldn't live with myself if I condemned an innocent man. Are you innocent, Tom? Just between the two of us. Why don't you go to hell? Now, now. You're the convict, remember? All I'm asking for is a little help. We'll forget all about your colorful past. What's the job? Involves opening up a strong box. So use a key. Funny, I can't seem to locate it. Well, that's because it don't belong to you. Where's the box? In my possession. Ten minutes, in and out. Easy as pie for a man of your experience. So that's all I gotta do is just crack it. That's it. What's to risk? Don't you, don't you understand? Everything. I spent five years in that hellhole thinking of the hurt I caused. The only way I, I learned how to survive was to change. Would you leave me alone? I will, Tom. Just as soon as you open up my strong box. Planning on how you'll spend the reward money? What do you want? I heard you got a description of Leroy's partner, the one he came looking for. Is that so? Who told you that? That's confidential. 
Well, so is a description. Too bad you killed Leroy. You could have asked him yourself. Then there's the question of the missing Luke. Where is he hiding it? What is this? I'm sorry, Sheriff. Just doing my public duty. And Leroy's partner. See a big fellow with a limp? Why? You seen him? No. For your homework assignment, children. Try cracking a safe. <laughs> it's right up there, the three R's. Oh, now don't be so bitter. It gets you a lot farther in life than geometry. So have you told Maddie all about your checkered past yet? She doesn't know. She's not gonna. <laughs> she's a smart woman. I bet you she's already asking questions. Look, I, I don't want to talk about her. Fine. All I'm saying is she's bound to find out sooner or later. Is that a threat? Is it? Easy. You really care about her, don't you? Yes, I do. Then tell her everything. If she means that much to you, don't hold back. Love, love is based on trust. That's very funny coming from you. What, what happened? No, a pick broke off on the lock. Oh, fine. Well, I thought you were supposed to be the expert. Well, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. I guess your, your friend won't be very happy, will he? Oh, you have no idea. Oh, where's the fire? Hello, Cole. Uh, you know, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, what do you know about that fella, Quinn? I don't. I could have sworn I saw him going to the hotel. Well, a lot of folks sashay through there every day. Can't expect me to keep track of all of them. No, no, that's right. So, Sheriff Peel believes you. Sheriff Peel? You know him. He's bound to be hard-nosed when it comes to the $1,000 reward. Thanks for the tip. I was at the livery. There was a mule in the spot where your horse should have been. Wonder how he got there. waiting for me. Every damn soul wanting a piece of my hide. These stinking miners' clothes. Give me a whiskey. I'm gonna hide in the cellar. That's real risky. Um, there's people all around here. It's a hotel, you know. You can't can't hide out in a hotel. There's there's staff coming and going all the time. There's people all over the place. Now you listen to me. I've lost a lot of blood, and I need some time to get my strength back. All right. All right. You you go on down, and I'll close up. you to come with me. Amanda? I'll have to get you some money. I'll need a fresh horse. Jim, you know what I'm like. I couldn't resist it. 
I mean, I never saw $20,000 all in one spot before. And you took my money? No, no, I just wanted to have a look at it. So that's how them regulators get onto me so quick. You were planning on selling me out. How dare you? After all I've done for you, let go of me. I'm your only chance. You really don't want to get on my wrong side. Bring you down some food later. I'd rather you stayed with me. Hello? What you got there? Another weapon of death and destruction? My daddy sold guns and so do I. Outside the bloody Corey's shop, the stranger strode. There was an angel. With a gun. What are you doing, writing novels now? You know, <clears throat> Shakespeare said, when lovers meet, shouldn't argue so damn much. Shakespeare never said that. I know. I'm sorry. So, when's the wedding? What? You know, you, you might want to consider wearing a, a dress. Or on the other hand, you, you might be the first bride to, to wear a holster. What wedding? The one that we're going to have after I propose to you. Well, trust you to find a new and original way to propose. Mr. Andrews. Okay. That's real good. F-I-N-C-H spells Finch. Finch. Ain't that right? That's right as rain. I'm Bob. But you know, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on a, a real important answer here from Miss Shaw. <sighs> Next, I'm going to learn how to spell Curtis Wells. <laughs> I hope you do, on Bob. Okay, we're going to need a wagon. Are you crazy? You think you can just walk out on that street and nobody's gonna notice you? You better hope they don't. My, my. It is a beautiful day. Isn't it? Mrs. Andrews? <sighs> well, I don't know about getting married. I'll get the wagon, I'll bring it around back, and we can load it and you can be on your way. Yeah, right, and you won't tell us all, right? right? Like I should have done the minute I laid eyes on you. Well, you know, maybe I should just be your mistress and we could have a scandalous relationship. All right, if that's what you want. Thomas, you come in here messing up my life. Who the hell do you think you are? This. No, you won't, Austin. Maddie, don't. Go to hell, Carl. It wasn't meant for him. It's Amanda. She took everything I had! You're still walking this earth. You're still breathing. 
How could she have taken everything away from you if you're still doing that? Why should you live? Answer me! Why should you live? I don't know. Neither do I. If you're gonna kill me, come on. Get it over with. Shut up! Come on, give them all a show. Blow my brains all over the street! I've been looking for you. Well, you found me. In all my glory. You apprehended a serious criminal. What does that make me? Citizen of the month? No, but it does make you a thousand dollars richer. You beat out half the able-bodied men in this territory. I always come out on top. Lucky for you, Quinn wandered into the Dove. I knew Quinn. Crossed my path once before. Yeah, he told me that. Man has no pride. But even all the wild accusations he's making aren't gonna save his neck. Well, fear of dying causes folks to say all sorts of things. No question about that. What are you driving at, Austin? I had my eye on that reward money myself. Not much money for a man's life. Quinn ain't worth much. One thinking of Quinn. Well, the money will be in my office when you're ready. I don't care. Give it away. Put it toward a real schoolhouse. Or... Give it to Maddie. That's mighty generous of you. Those shots that killed Tom were meant for me. Forgot to mention, the miners are missing 10,000, they claim. Is that right? Mm -hmm. From the strong box. Hmm. Strange. I, uh, I don't suppose Quinn has been much help finding where that money might be. Uh, that man's been telling so many lies. Don't think they'll ever sort out the whole truth before they hang him. That's a shame. I just thought you should know. Imagine you were sleeping on a strong box full of money. You didn't even know it. You look like hell. You don't look too good yourself. I'm sorry about what happened. Yeah. I wish I could say... Get over it. But I never have. You loved it very much. It's just I know the pain. You know what, Cole? It was the first time in a long time that I let someone in. Love's a terrible thing. Mr. Call a glass. We're drinking tonight. <laughs> 